Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Fortnite Victory Royale series Meowsel's figure. Uh, I'm going to say something that is has been said a million times by a bunch of other reviewers, certainly around my age group, that you know I've I haven't played Fortnite, and you know it's just you know something that wasn't really my thing. I don't like those types of games. However, the designs are incredible, and you know every toy company that has tackled the figures has done some sort of level of amazing job of just kind of getting the fun across with these characters and this is no exception so uh, let's get right into this review let's do this aesthetically speaking Hasbro did a splendid job here the Fortnite designs by nature are very cartoony so they're a little more basic and due to that you know there's not a much there's not as much attention to fine details and stuff like that it's more about conveying the character in kind of more the, the silhouette and bring the, the personality out through more simple details, which I am all about. I've said that in previous reviews of other figures that like I, I favor simple design. I don't, I hate over design with a passion. <laughs> um, and this is definitely very, very basic, but just in the best way. I mean, for paint, you know, we just got a couple of marks from the uh, just like kind of battle scars, if you will, which is really nice looking. And uh, I think I got the tattoo. The face is tampoed on. Looks really nice, got a cool grimace going on there. And uh, yeah, that just looks great. Paint on a belt is great. Um, you got the paw symbol with the, the gold paint for the buckle, just looks really nice. Um, you know, laces are done really well in the boots. The boots are sculpted super well. And uh, love the texture they added to the jeans. Like they just look like jeans. And you know, that that's another thing that's great about simple design is you get stuff like that, that makes it just look that much more dynamic. And just overall, just looks really good. So kudos to Hasbro on just nailing the look of Meowsels. Accessories are where this figure truly shines. And this is actually what convinced me I needed the figure. <laughs> uh, Cause I love the accessories that come with this and I am totally happy with it. Um, so starting off with the big things, we do get a weight bench. So as you can see, very simple. So once again, just a gold for the, the metal parts and then the cushion is white with a little pink towel here. Um, also with some fine detailing, if I can get to focus here, there we go. So you got some nice like kind of Terry Cloth sort of look to it going on. And uh, you got two options for where to put the actual barbell. And uh, yeah, this comes in three different parts. Uh, so you get this and then the foot and then this part that holds the weights. Uh, so you just snap one into one side, one the other, and you're good to go. Then you get the barbell itself, uh, cast in a gold plastic with just a couple of pink wraps on it. Really nicely done, though I will say I'm a little sad at the uh, color of the gold. I thought they were going more with this for the whole thing. Uh, I'm not really a fan of like creamy gold, so I might end up painting some of this at a later date. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's gonna roll away no matter what. <laughs> then moving into weapons, we get two of these knives, which are not unlike the ones that came with the Jazzwares version. Uh, they look really cool. I do prefer the length of the Jazzwares ones, but I still just love the design, so I'm cool. totally cool with having that. And you got a little bit of paint there, which adds a little bit, so you got some nice black on the handle. Then we get this sort of assault rifle looking thing. Um, nicely sculpted. Just a tasteful addition of brown on both the uh, the handle and the guard here. I'm not good with gun parts, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but, you know, looks really cool. Then we get, uh, I'm just kind of moving forward here, uh, two sets of hands. So on the figure out of the package, we get two gripping slash uh, pistol holding hands. Um, so we get horizontal hinge on the left and then vertical hinge on the right. And then we get two fists. Uh, so again, very basic, kind of blocky at the fingers because again, more of a cartoony style. Then we get the back bling, which is the ball of yarn with the two mouse grenades. Uh, just so those just cast in gold plastic, obviously, and the black plastic with the yarn. Then finally we get a uh, just single weight uh, I, for some reason, thought it came with two, but clearly I was mistaken there. Uh, oh, before I forget, actually, I screwed up here. Uh, you also get two handguns, and those do come out. They are actually in the holsters when you take it out of the package, but 
Look really nice, uh, cast in a white plastic with the gold on the handles. Again, I love this gold. I kind of wish that was more carry over to the, the weight bench and set, but uh, I understand why not, because that's probably a lot more expensive to do. So that is accessories. For articulation, we got some pretty good stuff here from Yosel's. However, I do want to point out before I get get into this that uh, the, this is the hardest plastic I've experienced with a Hasbro figure, and I actually had to warm it up to get a lot of the joints loose. Uh, and I've maybe had to do that twice, I think, with other Hasbro figures where it's just been a joint or two. So definitely keep in mind, and I've heard other people have had to heat this up as well. So, you know, if you, if you do get this, uh, definitely heat it up before you start uh, posing. Uh, that being said, coming to the head, we have a barbell joint here in the neck. Uh, so it starts down here, comes into the head. Uh, so we get not really any up because of that sculpt. Some kind of minuscule down, some side to side. A lot of this is, has to do with the shape of the head and just the way it's cut um, and all the way around, of course. We have some nice butterfly joints, which are pretty smooth. Uh, and then we have our arm joints, which hinge up. Uh, so it's gonna get us to about our T-pose. We have our bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows, which are also pinless. Uh, so get a nice fold there. We get swivel and hinge at the wrists. Uh, only one with a vertical hinge is the right uh, gripping hand. Then we get a old school, like kind of standard ab crunch, gets us that far forward, ridiculously far back. Uh, then we have a ball joint here at the uh, waist. Uh, so you can get a little bit of that. That's where you're gonna get your turn. Then we come down to the hips and full on splits, absolutely like, just really well done with the cut uh, and all that. So that's fantastic. Then we get some uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, also pinless. Gonna bring us to about there. Uh, we have mid calf cut. Then we get some, uh, these are, again, the feet are super, super stiff, just as I said before. So let's see if I can get this to go. Uh, I think the right foot was a little bit easier. There we go. So we get our point. We get some decent forward, and then of course, our rocker, and that's articulation. Actually forgot one piece here uh, before I move on to size comparisons. Uh, the tail articulates, and that's just on a swivel around here in the back, so that's it. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other Fortnite figures from Jazzwares and McFarlane figures. With some other Hasbro stuff. With some imports with some monsters. Finally, with an Articulate Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulate Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on Mielsel's from Hasbro is that there's a real, it's a solid figure. It's definitely fun. The accessories are fantastic. Um, just, you really gotta be careful of those joints. Uh, I think over time, they'll definitely become easier to uh, articulate and they'll ease up a bit, but you know, definitely be very, very careful out of the box and just heat your figure up. And beyond that, you know, definitely fun. Uh, it's starting to pop up everywhere. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be, this one's gonna be in stores, it probably will. Um, but it's definitely on online retailers right now, so I'll have links to those in the description below. Uh, so places like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, etc. cetera. Um, so you can get yours. So I hope you found this review uh, informative and or entertaining. And if you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and or sharing. Uh, and if you want to take it a step further, I will have other ways to support the channel in the description below as well. Uh, so that being said, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.